Welcome to the uh, summer astronomy lectures by the Nehru Planetarium. In the first lecture, we uh, learnt about the orientation in the night sky and the light pollution and observational part of it. This time, we are going to uh, see what we can do with the optics. That means the either the lenses or the mirrors, as we have termed this uh, talk as the astronomy with small pieces of lenses. So we'll just discover how Galileo started this revolution in astronomy by looking up in the sky through the telescope, which he had at that time, and that changed the whole uh, concept about the universe and astronomy for the years to come. Telescope, as all we know, it <coughs> means seeing far objects. It's just like uh, when we say television, that means seeing the vision from uh, far away. Telescope uh, shows us the things which are very far away. It brings these things close to us as if we are uh, seeing these things with the naked eye but at a very close distance. Now the telescopes, uh, the whole thing would not have been possible if we did not have either the optics or the or the what we call the visual range in the total spectrum window of the electromagnetic spectrum. If we didn't have the, the optical window there, then the optical telescope would not have been uh, possible there. With the telescope, uh, we'll just uh, see what all we can uh, see up in the sky. In these images you are watching right now, the, the beautiful rings of Saturn, the cloud belts on Jupiter, which can be seen with a very small telescope. Then one can see the whole moon through a binocular or let's say the low magnification uh, eyepiece on a telescope in which they can see hundreds of craters over there uh, of all sizes and if you have a telescope which is bigger in size and have higher magnification then you can go for the smaller craters on the moon and watch each and every crater with all the details uh, for example, you can see uh, in the right hand uh, bottom corner of the picture where you can see different craters with all the details. So all this is possible because we are using the lenses or the optics to view these things. Now it all began a uh, long time back, around 400 years back. And most of us uh, give, cre give credit to Galileo to in, for the invention of the telescope, but that's not true. That invention lies somewhere in the workshop of Hans Lippershey, who was an optician. And in fact, he was also not the, not the one who was doing it. It was uh, under his uh, supervision, there were some apprentices who were working for him in case of the, I mean, making... 